And back here in the nation's southwest, Governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Abiodun, has flagged off the reconstruction of the 70-kilometer Abelkuta E4 Ota Lagos Expressway with a pledge to complete it in 18 months. Senior reporter Kazim Olowe reports. For many years, road users along Abelkuta E4, Songwata to Lagos Expressway have endured hardship due to the deplorable state of the road. Despite being a major expressway that connects Abe Okuta, E4, Ota, to Lagos and those coming from ED Roko border to Lagos State, the road was abandoned for many years. After several attempts by the governor of Ogo State to take over the road for reconstruction under the former administration, he eventually got the nod of the present government under President Bola Tinubu, and this led to the flagging off of the reconstruction. He commended President Bola Tinubu and the Minister of Works for their love and passion for the development and welfare of Nigerians. This road is about 70 kilometers in length and is a dual carriageway of about 10.5 meters wide. This road was awarded originally in 2003, but since then it has suffered insufficient funding. Like KBSC said, you know Villaro, this road was never completed, neither was it, was it commissioned or handed over to the federal government. This road is a very critical artery for numerous industrial hubs in Ota, all the way to Abeokuta, and several of our various schools and higher institutions. The governor said the road is the second busiest in the country apart from Lagos Ibadan Expressway. He added that five construction gangs will be involved in the execution of the project for speedy completion. Five team gangs have been deployed. Five they will be constructing in five different places at the same time. One gang will be in Ota Ifo. One gang will be in Pamalanto. One gang will be in Ewekoro Itori. And one gang will be in Abeokuta. Traditional rulers, road transport leaders, community leaders and other groups in the state appreciate the efforts of the governor and commended him for taking the bold step. The governor said the road will create jobs for both skilled and unskilled workers through direct and indirect employment, adding that it will also improve security along the axis and provide a conducive environment for factories and businesses. With this flag off, it is expected that motorists on Lagos Abeokuta Expressway will soon be enjoying smooth ride from Lagos down to Abeokuta. Kazimolowe, TVC News, Itori.